Hey everybody! So today we're going to be taking a look at the LEGO Creator Pirate Ship set. So this is set number 31109 and it has 1,260 pieces. So this is a 3-in-1 set, so not only can you build the pirate ship, but you can also build this, looks like a little boat shack or shrimp shack or fish shack or something like that. And then uh, down here you also have Skull Island, which I think is pretty cool. So the side builds are really nice, but I'm going to be primarily focusing on the pirate ship. So on the back of the box here you can see how the ship looks and just kind of gives you a little bit of detailing going on here and then also some more close-up views of the Skull Island build and then this little building here which actually has an interior which is pretty cool. I also like that water wheel. So yeah the side builds are actually pretty nice and I think you know Lego actually could have made those two sets separate sets altogether but it's nice that it is included in a three-in-one set. So inside we find bags that are numbered up to nine, and I think there's one extra bag of six. So there's, I guess, ten bags total. And you also get this bag here that has two plate pieces and the little rigging parts. So quite a few pieces, actually. So you also get this little booklet for something that I don't care about. So moving on, we also have this book here for the main build of the ship and you also have the instructions for the little shack there and it's a thick book this is a really thick book i mean it's pretty sizable so yeah there's going to be a lot of steps to this uh, ship and then um this book here is a separate book for the skull island so it's kind of cool how they do it and they kind of show you you know what kind of bags you're going to need well i think actually all the bags are necessary for all of them but not all the parts obviously like you see here but, you know, that's kind of the problem with these 3-in-1 kits, is if you decide to build the main one, then you got to tear everything apart to sort the pieces out to build something like this, and then, you know, back and forth. And so once you open those bags and, the, and they're no longer numbered, uh, it makes it, you know, where you have to sort everything out. That's why um, building the main set is the easiest, because it's going to use all the parts in all the bags. Okay, so I just finished bag number four, and I really love the way... They figured out how to make the back end of the ship, these, these little curved areas. So all they are is a bunch of um, the little arches, and they're the small ones and the large ones, but you can kind of see through there, but you're not going to see that, I'm sure, or notice it from the bottom. But it was really kind of ingenious how they figured out how to make the curvature of that. And then on here you can kind of see how this is all connected to the middle section of the ship. So this piece here is actually, you can kind of see... If I lift this part of it, you can kind of see how, well, I don't know if you can or not. It's it's uh, kind of loose right here. See how that jiggles? That's because this back piece clips into that. There's like some clips right in here. So it's really cool how that kind of snapped into place. All right, well, I guess we'll uh, get on with the build. Okay, so I've got the whole thing completely built now. And um, I got to say, this looks really, really good. Um, so I've had my doubts about this set, and I'll kind of go into detail about that in a minute. But first of all, I just kind of want to go over the details of this. It, it looks, I mean, the sails look better than I thought they were going to. You know, not being cloth sails, I was kind of a little skeptical about the uh, brick-built sails. But somehow it, it works on this set, and the details on this thing are pretty darn amazing. I mean, you can see how everything just kind of looks really good. I like the curvature of the way they kind of did all that right there and and they kind of used hinges right in here to kind of make that lean and so you can kind of get the right angles in there which is kind of shadowed over here and they did the same thing with this here. They kind of made a, a little hinge right here and it's just kind of cool how they made everything work and I love this detail back here where the captain's uh, I guess quarters I guess you could call it are there. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Up here we've got the uh, the steering wheel, and the steering wheel actually will turn. And I kind of wish they would have put something on the end of it right here, though. I can, it looks a little strange just having that nub. And then back here you can kind of see the nice detail that's going on. This flag is really cool. Um, it looks like they were trying to, just by using this piece, make it a skull with a patch on it. And I'm guessing that's supposed to be the teeth. So I thought that was kind of clever. Love these lanterns. Those always make a ship look cool. I've always liked how they did the lanterns. Um, now, you know, the opposite side of the bricks are always kind of the ugly part. Same with the back here. And that's one thing I kind of wish looked better. I, I still think that cloth sails would have been a little better with this. But, you know, it's still somehow, I mean, like I said, it still works. That skull was really fun to build. 
And it's cool how they use these curved pieces for these lower sections of the sail down here. All right, so let's take a look at some other details. Down here, we've got the little cannons. I can't remember what, I'm not sure what they call these, like cannon ports or something like that, but you can kind of see how these lift up. And you can completely close them if you want to. And of course, those are the cannons that shoot the little pellets. I'll show you what that looks like. So they've used these cannons on other pirate sets and other sets in general. And they're pretty cool. You know, you got this little adjustable, I think this moves, does it? Yeah, it does. It's adjustable right here. You have these little stud pieces like this that go inside here. And it works with the little plunger mechanism. And you just kind of pull on this like that. You can see that. And then it shoots it out of there. And so these work pretty good. Um, they give you two of these, and I kind of wish they would have... Oh, they do roll, by the way. They roll really nice. So they give you two of those, but I wish they would have given you four of them. So on the inside there, you can see where the cannons are sitting. And then there's actually room for, if I can zoom in, two more right in the, on the other side down here. So you can see them right here. So it would have been cool if they gave you four, because, you know, there's two more doors over here. But, you know, they give you two, and I guess that's good enough. I do like the extra cannonball pieces, and there's even a barrel that has two more in it. So they give you quite a few of those pieces. Up at the top of this mast, which is the one with the skull on it, we have a little crow's nest where you can have somebody out there keeping a lookout. A little flag right there. Here on the side, we have a nice anchor, and this time they did use the regular anchor piece. So you have the little turning thing right here that you turn, and it lowers the anchor down. And the chain just kind of goes through that little area right there, but yeah, and it comes down quite a bit, actually. You can kind of see how that kind of goes hanging in there. Yep, and then you can just turn it all back the other direction and bring it back up. Works pretty good. This is the mermaid figurehead I was talking about, and, you know, because it is brick-built, it looks a little rough. It would have been cool if there was some kind of a, maybe, they should have made maybe like a mini figure, and then... Um, you can stick her on there using like the, the back leg pieces, but they just kind of used some interesting choice of pieces to make it. And it actually looks pretty good, including the tail, which you can actually move forward like that. So it looks like a mermaid. I mean, it looks the part, but it would have been cool to have like a minifigure to put on there instead. The whole ship itself is really cool the way they build these curved parts of the bow. I was showing you that earlier. And um, it's just kind of cool how they, you know, use the arch pieces and it just kind of somehow works. You know, they, they didn't use the regular boat hole pieces for this. They actually used those uh, curved pieces. You also got a rudder back here that can turn. It's on a little swivel right there. So, yeah, it's pretty ingenious how they figured all that out. One part about this build that was kind of weird is that this back window section right here, it's actually kind of loose. It just kind of, I mean, you can see it's kind of jiggly right here. So it's not really attached to anything. It just kind of sits in place. And then when you take that top section off, I'll show you how it loose it actually is. Okay, so now with the lid up, this is what I'm talking about. So this was kind of holding it in place as well as this bar right here. But if you don't, if it's, when those are, when this part is open, this is actually just really loose. See how that just kind of sits in there and it's really odd. In fact, when I was building this, I kept looking at the directions to see if I missed something. But it's just really weird how they kind of, have it sitting in there and it has like two of these pieces underneath that where it sits inside this little kind of uh, little rut right there and then that's kind of what holds it in place down at the bottom but for as for the top it's just kind of loose until you close this and then it's back to being you know a little more tight now so it's really weird how they decided to build that section over back here on the back end of the ship we've got the little captain's quarters and you'll notice there's a little handle piece right there where you can open this door you can see inside there. Um, one thing that was weird about this is this section right here is at an angle. See how that's kind of leaning like that? And I kept fighting with that because I thought I did something wrong where, you know, it was rubbing over here or something and it wasn't going in all the way. And I couldn't figure out what I did wrong. But it turns out that that's actually supposed to lean like that. I was looking at the box and that's actually how it, how it is. So uh, if your plate right there leans, don't worry about it. That's actually <laughs> how that's supposed to go. So on this side, it's pretty much mirror imaged, but you have another handle right there. This door opens up 90 degrees. And then up here at the top, this little section, the roof actually opens up. So it opens up the entire uh, captain's quarters down here. It's like you can get access down there. There's a little seat right there. There's a little desk, his little rum ch chalice. Looking down from the top here, you can now see there's a, a map, a little treasure map in there. and. I'm not sure what that clear piece is supposed to be. Maybe it's an inkwell or something. I don't really know, but uh, it's kind of neat. He have his own little room in there. 
And on this side, you can have this poor unfortunate soul walking the plank. <laughs> I love it. So it's just a single long brown piece there that makes that plank. But I thought that was pretty good. And I love the expression on that guy's face. So you get this assortment of minifigures. You get the captain and then one of the uh, little shipmates there. This guy looks like he's probably ranked a little higher. And then we got a skeleton in there too. So, and there's no alternate faces on. Well, actually, no, I think this guy's got an alternate face, actually. Hmm, yeah, now that I think about it, let me show you what that looks like. So here you can see he's looking a little less concerned. So if you don't want him walking the plank, then uh, <laughs> you can have him look a little better. The other guys still have just the regular face on the front. You also get this brick built, I guess he's like a parrot kind of thing. And then you also get this little treasure chest with jewels and uh, some gold coins. They give you a couple of extra jewels, but I figure they all fit in there, so I may as well just put them all in there. So yeah, because I mean it holds everything, but I think that's kind of cool. This bird, I'm not really a fan of. It's a brick built bird, and I understand, once again, it's a creator set, kind of like what they had to do with the mermaid. But, um, you know, Lego makes a parrot figure, like a little figure. And I really think they could have just went ahead and included that instead of having this because that parrot would also work with the other alter alternative builds as well, since it's all pirate themed. So yeah, I wish they would have done something else with this. I mean, it's a nice effort to make it look like a bird, but uh, yeah, I think that uh, the figure would have been better. And last, but certainly not least, when it comes to the figures, we have this really cool brick-built shark. So I think <laughs> this thing works really good as a brick-built shark, and um, it's really fun to build. It has all kinds of neat little um, little, I don't know, points of articulation. The little tail here can move back and forth and up and down as well. And then the little fins here, you can have them up and down or you can move them, you know, back. So if you want them looking like he's, you know, going straight out like that, you most certainly can. Or if you want these bent back a little bit, that looks kind of cool. Or you can even have them down like this so it looks like he's standing up on his fins. <laughs> and then he also has this cool mouth that you can open. And the vicious teeth. Cue the Jaws music right there. <laughs> so yeah, this guy's really cool. Um, I like it. I like the way his eyes look. But yeah, I like that part. That's really neat. So here's all the extra parts that are left over. And you actually get quite a few. Um, but not really surprising, once again, being a creator set. Um, so yeah, you get an extra f feather piece, like in the captain's hat. These are the two uh, flame pieces I was talking about that you don't actually use on the the ship, but you might use it on, you must use it on the other builds, I'm guessing. You also get an extra one of these um, scaffolding pieces, which I think is pretty cool. A couple more cannonball pieces, and you get an extra eyeball for the shark, a nice printed piece there, and also the uh, the epaulets on the captain's uh, uniform as well. So, oh, and a, also a gun. Oh, and a sword. <laughs> So I did notice one mistake in the uh, instructions here. So this happens right at the very beginning if you're building the ship. So right here it tells you that there are two of these uh, barrels. Let's see if I can get it without the glare. Yeah, so you get two of these barrels, but you actually only get one. I'm not sure why it tells you there's two there. It's when you're putting these uh, cannons together because I kept looking around for the other barrel and I figured maybe they just didn't give me that piece. I have had some Lego sets where they're missing pieces before, but then in the second booklet, if you look here, you will see on the uh, parts section that it does tell you, in fact, that there is only one barrel that's supposed to be in this set. So, yeah, so I don't know what's going on with that. that that's a mistake. So if you're building this, don't look for that second barrel because it, it's not there. <laughs> Just for the fun of it, whenever I'm watching those pirate movies, it seems like the back captain's quarters area, you always see some flickering light of like candles or something in there. So I stuck one of those flameless tea light candles in there and you can kind of see how that looks. You can kind of see the candle in there, but I, it just looks kind of cool. I kind of like the way that glow kind of looks in there. Just something fun to try. So um, there's a couple things I got to say about this set. First of all, when I first heard about it, I was really excited to get it. And then after I saw some pictures of it, um, I kind of fell out of love with it. You know, I, I was kind of turned off by the the, the brick-built sails. I, I just didn't think I liked them as much. And then also, uh, like the not very detailed mermaid there and this bird and uh, also that open section in the deck right there. I kind of wish they would have had one of those great pieces like, uh, like the new uh, Ninjago um, Destiny's Bounty has. And and not have it left open like that. So there were certain things about it that I just kind of fell out of love with and decided not to not to get it. Well then, um, I went to the Lego store a few days ago 
and uh, they had one of these on display. And I kept looking at it for about five minutes, and I gotta say, seeing it in person is way different than seeing it on uh, the shelf, or I should say, in, on the box. The box art does not do this set justice. It just, um, for I don't know if it's the angles of the pictures they took or what, but it just looks so much better in person and I've had sets that work the other way where I thought it looked really good and uh and then it it looked really not so great in person when I saw it on display and so I guess it goes either way but this is one of those sets where if you see it in person you're going to think way more highly of it than if you uh just look at the box art and in fact I was talking to uh oh I left this door open <laughs> um I was talking to one of the Lego employees there and he said they weren't selling that many of these sets until they built one and then put it on display. And now he can't keep them on the shelf. And it was funny because they were actually sold out of this set when I went there because I decided then I was going to go ahead and get one. And so thankfully my local Target had a couple of these. So stores like Target and Walmart, um, you know, because they don't have this on display, uh, it, it sadly I think will kind of hurt sales of this set. And I'm kind of sad that sales of this set may... Uh, you know, sag a little bit just because of the way it's presented on the box. And and I think I'm obviously not the only one who, who felt that way because like the Lego guy said, um, you know, they weren't selling that many. And then as soon as they got one on display, now they're selling like hotcakes. And I told him the same thing. I said, seeing it in person is totally different than seeing the box. So uh, yeah, I would definitely say that if you're kind of on the fence about this set, um, if your Lego store has one on display, you got to go check it out because I, you're going to like it way more when you see it rather than just on the box. There's just something about that because as soon as I saw it, I knew I was going to get this set. So anyway, that is my review of this set and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks again and have a good day. Take it easy.